Hi everyone, it's 2.46 in the morning and because I'm a weird Jesus girl, I'm sitting here on my front porch with a cup of hot tea and I'm just here to be still and to know that he is God. And like Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 3, I can't sleep and so I'm following the advice that Eli gave. I tried to lay down and go back to sleep again and I couldn't, so I'm here to say, speak Lord, for your servant is listening. Years ago, I had a mentor who taught me that when you can't sleep at night, it's God's way of getting your attention. There's something important that you need to talk over with him and it's also time for you to listen, to be still and to hear what he would say to you. So here I sit on my front porch with my faithful golden retriever, Cora, and my cup of hot tea, and Cora is frustrated with me because he was sound asleep. But I'm just going to take time, and I'm going to be still, and I'm going to know that he is God, and I'm going to talk over all of the things that have been troubling me. Everything that's been weighing heavy on my mind lately, cancer, COVID-19, painful memories of shattered dreams, my singleness, my inability to have children, my fears about job security, hurt from relationships that I hoped would go somewhere and never did, but fell apart instead, friendships, worries about unsaved relatives, anything and everything that's been crossing my mind and making me toss and turn. I'm here to just pour out my heart to the Lord and he knows it all anyway. And so I'm here to talk to him about it. And then I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna just sit and be still and listen and hear what he would say to me. So when you can't sleep at night, I hope you'll learn from a weird Jesus girl I hope you'll grab your favorite cup of hot tea and go sit on your front porch and just take time to be still and know that he is God. Scripture tells us to cast all of our cares upon the Lord for he cares for us. And in Philippians 4, we're told to be anxious about nothing but in everything with prayer and supplication to make our requests known to the Lord with thanksgiving. So I'm gonna do exactly that and I hope you guys are sound asleep but if you're not, I hope that you're on your front porch with your favorite cup of tea doing the same thing. Good morning, everyone.